Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day and today we're doing a lip declutter. Now this has been a long time coming, I meant to do this before I moved, but I just didn't get around to because you know, things are busy and stuff. So today we're decluttering my lip products. I have about 90% liquid lipsticks and a couple lip liners and stuff and I'm going to declutter them because I don't need every other shade in the world. You know, a lot of them are very similar but they have a deep place in my heart and then I have several that I literally have because it's like what if I need it for this kind of look but I don't need that mentality because when do I need that kind of look you know anyways let's go ahead and get started I will be throwing away all these afterwards because they've been in my mouth and that's nasty all right so as always with these lip videos and half of my declutters the angle is weird but we're gonna do our best anyways so first off I know I can get rid of these French Kisses. I really loved that Roaring Hearts collection color pop did, and I tested this out for that review, but I have not been using these and they don't dry it on matte for me, so I'm gonna declutter these. Starting off strong, I have a bunch of sponges and crap back here too, just ignore that mess. Everything's kind of a mess these days. So let's do some of these Jeffrey ones. We have a mini of Anna Nicole, which is my only orange lip that I'm gonna keep. I have white Drug Lord that I've never even opened. But it's good for mixing colors and stuff. Or if I need a white liquid liner, I can use this as a liquid liner because it is vegan. It's safe on my eyes. Um, we have Abuse, which is a navy. I don't know why I need a green, but I feel like I do. <laughs> um, we have Doll Parts and Weirdo with a black one, which is really nice. We have Delicious, which I have not worn in a while. It's kind of a grayish purple, I think. I think I'm gonna keep it for now because I do have some purple lips that I quite enjoy. These is more my red Jeffree section. We have Wifey and Misery. So a true red with a blue base and a dark red. Um, I don't really see. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of one of these because they're so old. So I have Family Jewels and human nature because both of these are so freaking old and so expired i'm gonna make myself part ways with one of them and i am going this one's drier but i like the color better but it's drier so i'm gonna get rid of human nature keep family jewels and this is my jeffrey nudes section you can say what you want about the man uh because you know he's not a great person but his liquid lipstick formula is bomb and i'm not gonna sit here and act like it's not okay <laughs> so of my nudes, I do have two of this daddy one um, from the Manny MUA collab. I have my original one that came out with it, and then I ordered another one from Beautylish uh, at the end of 2021. And it had some discoloration, like there's an orange spot in it, like an orange pigment streak or something. They gave me a refund for it because it was looking kind of odd. And I haven't worn it yet, but if I ever run out of daddy, I have it just in case. I just got this one, this plastic surgery. I just ordered this from Beautylish, which is my last order. It's kind of like a terracotta, like a little bit darker. It's kind of fun. I really, I really love my Jeffrey Nudes ones. Like, like I don't wear Posh Spice very often because it is just. It's such a gray that it comes off a little bit weird looking on me. I have gated community for days where I want like a kind of a, a light nude. It's kind of gray based. So Posh Bike is one I haven't really worn often. However, I was dreaming about this lipstick for two years knowing I wouldn't wear it and finally got it. So I'm going to keep it because it's one of those things you're like in your back of your head forever. And when you finally get it, even if you don't use it, you can't part ways with it. That's how I'm feeling about Posh Spice these days, you guys. Here I have Onyx Ice, not a lip, lip product, but it's that black highlighter I viewed a couple years ago and went viral. I have that for the memories, but I don't really know why I need that. Anyways, let's move on now to these front ones. These are more of like my similar size tube liquid lipsticks. We have Mercury Wave and Rubino from Kaleidos. These do not dry down, but they're super, super comfortable. They just take a little finessing. They're not as like regularly pigmented as a liquid lipstick. They're a lip clay. I don't really know if I need the Rubino. I feel like I have this color in actual liquid lips. So I'm gonna declutter Rubino. I'm gonna keep 
Mercury Wave. Uh, other Kaleidos here. Oh, Scorpion Fruit is lovely. It's a very dark black with a little bit of purple. Very pretty. I think that's it for the Kaleidos ones I have in here. I have some Black Moon Cosmetics. If you don't want to support Jeffree and you want a good liquid lipstick formula, kind of similar, Black Moon Cosmetics. A little pricier. They don't sell them at Ulta anymore. So you have to go through their website, but it's so nice. Haunting is one I've had forever. So much so that the tip fell off. But I'll use a disposable lip wand to use this color because it's just that good. I have Grave, Haunting, and Grim. Just a very dark brown. I, if you love like a fall autumn lip, let me tell you that Grim is that girl for you. She's a beautiful brown with a little bit of warmth. So it makes your teeth look a little whiter. It's very nice. Keeping these. I mean, honestly, my second favorite formula. I'm going to part ways with Catching Feelings from Dose of Colors. I bought this because it was limited edition and it came in a bundle of two nudes that I thought I needed. But I, it's, it's too light, too creamy. So, well, creamy in color. I'm going to declutter this one. Next up is from Florasis. This is a really pretty color. It's like a red. I'm going to keep this because I think it's a really pretty red color. Pretty comfortable too. You don't really feel it. Play it cool, I'm keeping from Dose of Colors. It is gorgeous. Uh, Stone, I haven't worn this in a hundred years. I really was like deeply in love with this color when it first came out, but now I think it's too pink for me. So I think I even have like a repurchase of the thing. This is like my second purchase of it. I can't even tell. It's just gorgeous, I'm keeping that. I'm, I'm decluttering it. It's gorgeous, I don't wear it, I'm decluttering it. That's what I meant to say. Okay, I have bow and arrow from KVD in a little mini size, a Scott Barnes root beer float color. Let me swatch this color. I haven't worn this in a minute. Uh, it's, oh, it's not Scott Barnes. It's Give Me Glow. It's starting to separate a little bit, but man, that is a really pretty color. So keeping. And then Uoma Donnie Vale. If you Google it, it's like this color never existed, but it is. If you want more of a berry based pinky red color, this is gorgeous. So. I really want to buy more liquid lipsticks. I know I have a lot of colors, right? But I really want to wear more like deep colors that are a little more unique. I want to purchase some more, but I just haven't in a while. Next section, this is a lot of Ofra, and then I have some other things I haven't really worn lately underneath. So firstly, I'm going to declutter L-O-M-L. I think we got this in a subscription box. I don't remember ordering this one specifically. Maybe it was in a set. It's just so light. I'm never going to wear that. So I'm going to declutter that one. Bordeaux is a purple love. Love Reimagine. It was in the Jen Loves Reviews collab of three colors. And I also love her refined color, which is really pretty. So I'm going to keep these. Battle Harbor, really pretty kind of reddish. It looks a little darker on me than it looks in the tube, to be honest. I don't know if it's just my skin tone. Staten Island, very cool tone, very gray, but very comfortable. Ofra's liquid lipstick formula, very comfortable, very wearable. But if you drink out of a straw, it will come off on your straw kind of deal. It's not matte proof, but it's just so comfy that I still wear it. I haven't worn Rome in like maybe ever. I don't know. Oh, that's romantic and gorgeous. Okay, well, you know what? I need to wear Rome. <laughs> I need to wear that. I'm keeping the Give Gwen Stefani lip, even though it's, I think it's like a whole moment. It's very, very bright. Even in the tube, it doesn't, it doesn't give off how bright this is. But it's Gwen, so I'm going to keep it because I love her. Another Fluoresis color. Let's see. This is the Fluoresis color I swatched earlier. And I'm going to get rid of this one because I like that color better. What is this one? Huda Beauty. I forgot about this one. Day Slayer. We got this in a subscription box. I think it was Ipsy. Too light. Never going to wear that. Going to declutter it. I don't think I ever wore it, quite frankly. Kind of sad. I love Classy from Colored Rain. Colored Rain is also a really good liquid lipstick formula. It's a little more drying than like a Black Moon Cosmetics or a Jeffree. But look how pretty. It's a mauve mauve. I love it. This last time I checked, this was on clearance on... Colored Rain's website for $5. So worth it, you guys. I got this when they were in Target. And it's lovely. So next up, we have an Alter Ego one. This is Infamous. 
Ooh, it's really pretty, but it reminds me of Misery by Jeffrey that I have. So I'm gonna declutter it. What is this baby one? Oh, it's a Sigma one. It's a baby Sigma one. I have a lot of red swatch, so. Oh, it's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. I need to remember to use it though. It's very cute red. Manila. I don't remember if I like this color or not. Oh, it's a little meh. Like, I think I would like it a little personally darker, so I'm going to get rid of Manila. And then Santa Ana also came in a subscription box. This one's more of a berry one. A little pinky pinky. But I think it's cute for like a holiday lip. Declutter, declutter, declutter. I'm, I'm just convincing myself I need holiday lip colors now. That's not a thing. Okay. That looks a lot better, right? Okay. Anyways, last section now. I'm not going to do lip liners. I don't care about those today. Ecstasy. Very pretty. Drawer Cosmetics. I'm going to keep both of my Il Maquillage, Matte Rebel, and Matte Royal. Very beautiful colors. Also a great formula as well, but the, the wand has a little bit of those fuzzies on the ends of it. Oh, this uh, ColourPop Hello Boy is black. Very pretty, but I have the Jeffrey Weirdo one. So I'm going to wear that one instead. I have more Kaleidos ones. I don't remember wearing this color. Oh yeah, no, that's too bright for me. I'm never gonna wear that. Okay, I'm gonna decolor this one. This came in like a set, I'm pretty sure. Queen of the Night, this one's a gorgeous color. It is a dark plum. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna put it over here with Scorpion Fruit, which is also just like a beautiful dark shade. Aurelia from Menagerie. I love this color. I wore it in my like a wedding announcement photos for some of them. Gorgeous. Invasion, Pretty Nude by Jar Cosmetics. Queen Bee from Too Faced. I was obsessed with this color for a long time because it's a really pretty mauvey pink. And I still am not going to part ways with it. You know, this is my second one. I had a mini at first and I had this one. It was, it's just too good. I have a backup of Invasion. So I will declutter this Invasion that I talked about previously because this one's getting dry. So I bought a backup. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to get rid of the old one so I can open the new one. Scott Barnes Facts. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm keeping that. I'm going to put it in my section right here. Colored Rain Marshmallow. Oh, you guys, underrated Colored Rain formula, bro. These are so good. That color is gorgeous. I need to actually like put this on like the top of that section and remember to use that thing here. Colored Rain goes in here now. Rapture by lethal this is a really pretty red this takes a little bit longer to dry down than i'm usually used to but it's gorgeous i'm gonna fly through this last section because my camera battery is dying quite frankly i don't want it to die on me mid video boss lady uh i'll keep this one from gerard Bear it all. I'm going to declutter. It's a little too peachy nude for me. 1995. Very pretty. These are from Jacqueline Cosmetics. I'm going to declutter the brightest one and I will keep the true red declutter the darker one because this one's a little more streaky. And then this one from Glam Light in Rum. I don't remember if I love this color or not. So let's give it a swatch. Too light. <laughs> it's too light. Okay. Love this packaging. Look how cute it is. Okay, so putting these back and opening Invasion, I decluttered, I decluttered 20, not all of them are my hands, but I decluttered 20 liquid lipsticks today. I feel like that's progress. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I got lipsticks rolling around on the floor to my legs right now and it feels weird. <laughs> so I will see you in the next video. Have a great and lovely day. Hopefully this looks a little better than when we started. Bye guys. Have a lovely day. I love you.